Hey guys! Bienvenidos a nuestro canal. Und heute machen wir ein Video über The cute and adorable mistakes that German speakers make when they speak English. These are some mistakes that I noticed from Yannick, from his family, and from my teachers and friends from Munich. The actual reason why she wants to make this video is because I recently made a video about the mistakes that she and Spanish speakers make. He roasted me and he found it funny and I think <laughs> it's time for me to tell you that you're not as perfect as you think you are. I know I'm making mistakes and I also wrote some down. The real question is, why do a Mexican and a German make a video about mistakes in English since we're not native speakers? First of all, you asked for it last time. Don't blame us, it's your fault. <laughs> it's basically your fault. And second of all, we know some of you guys are learning English with our videos for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, we don't know what we're talking about, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> we thought, let's just do this. We are in no position to judge because we make a lot of mistakes ourselves. And as always, we're not saying that every German is making those mistakes, but only the people that she has met. <laughs> so, los geht's, Leute! So I made a list of three mistakes that I've noticed that Danny keeps making constantly. And afterwards I'm gonna tell you the mistakes that I used to make and that I've heard from other Germans. And you have to say if they're cute or they're annoying. Cute or dumb? <laughs> cute or dumb. So the first mistake I find it super cute is my favorite mistake of all. Okay. And it is hello all together. Hallo alle zusammen. So sadly, Yannick doesn't make this mistake. At least I've never heard you saying it. But my teachers would come into the room and say, Hello all together. All together. I thought it was maybe very formal, but my friends would put it on the WhatsApp groups. Hello all together. <laughs> We're gonna party at five. And I was like, what, what is that? the hell? <laughs> I remember you coming back from university in the beginning and saying like, they all say all together. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not saying it too? I love it a lot. Yeah, but the correct form would be, hello everybody. Or, what's up, y'all? <laughs> the next mistake is that Germans use the word make for a lot of things. I've heard people saying, I'm gonna make myself ready, yeah. instead of I'm gonna get ready. That totally makes sense for the German ears. Yes, sounds right. <laughs> sounds right. <laughs> it's not. I know. <laughs> they say, I'm gonna make a party, instead I'm gonna throw a party. Yeah. Or I'm gonna make vacations, or I'm gonna make a holiday. I'm gonna make my homework. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna do my homework! I'm gonna do my homework! I'm gonna do my homework! Oh, I'm gonna make a break, but I'm gonna take, take a, break. a break. That's true! Oh my god! I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, because in German you use. Machen for everything. Like party machen, ich mach mich fertig. Ferien machen, eine Pause machen, yeah. AA machen. I'm gonna make poop. I'm gonna make poop. Why are we talking about poop? So you make that mistake. I'm sorry to tell you, but I've heard you. No, I've heard you several times. I wouldn't say I'm making myself ready. Oh, oh my god, you make that mistake every day. Oh, make yourself ready. <laughs> yeah, totally. I say that all the time. <laughs> yes. So that that was it. <laughs> <laughs> the next mistake is that Germans confuse each other with us. Yeah. This is a mistake that Yannick also makes every now and then. To be honest. Okay, so, no, no, I, I definitely know what you mean. I hear you. I accept it, and I agree. Thank you. I appreciate that you're listening to me. I love you. I love you too. What I mean by that is that sometimes when they are making a plan, they say, "Okay, let's meet us at five. We'll see us at five. Or we'll see us tomorrow. Instead of saying, "Let's meet each other at five. Because in German, people say, "Wir sehen uns morgen." So it's uns us. Now, if you make these mistakes, obviously people can understand you. Yeah. And it's totally fine. But I find it cute. Oh, I forgot to say if I found those cute. <laughs> I find it cute. <laughs> Not as cute as Alice Zaman, but cute. <laughs> and the previous one, what was it? The machen. Oh, the machen. I hate it. It's the most <laughs> annoying thing ever, dude. I hate really? it. Really? I'm gonna make myself ready. So you hate Let's when I talk. Let's make a break. Sometimes, yes. <laughs> Great. So these were the three mistakes that you had. Those are my three mistakes. I have more, but Yannick wants to take over the video now. I want to say them. Okay, now. Listen, the first category that I wrote down is that Germans use words that don't exist. 100% true. I have to specify it because those words do exist, but only in German. But the Germans think they also exist in English. So, the first one that comes to my mind is... is Beamer. Correct. Beamer sounds so English. And it doesn't exist in English. No, it doesn't exist. In English, it's not a Beamer, but it's a video projector. Another word that goes into that category is Handy. Yes. This is called handy 
But in English, it's called cell phone. Yes. Or mobile phone. So if you go to the US and you say, can I buy a handy? They have no idea. Maybe they think you're talking about something weird. Can I, can <laughs> can I, I get, get a handy? handy? Oh. <laughs> I feel like at the beginning, that's very cute to hear. But yeah. if he would continue to say that for a week, I would be annoyed as hell. <laughs> Probably. I just remember two mistakes that you make. These ones are not from anybody else. These are from you, strictly. Yeah, sure. Informations. I never do that, yes, mis make yes, that mistake. Yes, yes, yes. Several times you've been like, yeah, there was no information online. Yeah, sure. In the last video, I explained to you that information is an uncountable noun. You explained to me. And therefore, it doesn't have an S. You were no. making that mistake in the previous video. You said uninformation. Yeah, I thought you could say that, but I also knew that to information would be still without an S. Okay. But <laughs> before that video, Yannick used to say informations a lot yeah, sure. or infos. This is the one mistake that Yannick <laughs> cannot deny that he makes constantly, okay? <laughs> he doesn't know or he's starting to learn because I'm trying to teach him. <laughs> yeah, sure. The difference between this and that. I agree. Sometimes I, just, I say that, although I should say this. The rule is you say this for something that is right here. And that for something that is further away. And now I make that stupid mistake because of you. This stupid mistake. Yeah, you see? Like, <laughs> now I'm super confused. What is because of you? The next category from my list is Germans confuse English words. Yes. That do actually exist in English, but they mean something else. False friends. That I is correct. I found it out online. <laughs> First up on this list is shooting. When Germans talk about a shooting, it's a photo shoot because in German it says photo shooting and I say yes. that all the time I always say shooting yes but shooting is something is bad it? guys yeah oh my god I never even noticed I mean I knew it was kind of weird the way you said it yeah but Yannick says a lot of things weird he calls a vacuum a dust sucker <laughs> dust sucker it is though <laughs> I need to dust suck the apartment <laughs> so it's photo shooting it's photo shoot and not photo oh. shooting don't make the mistake next up is Chef. Chef is difficult because the word chef in German means boss, but in English chef means cook. And that's something that actually was very confusing for me at the beginning too, when I was learning German. In the beginning when we were cooking together, she always called me, you're such a good chef. <laughs> and I said, I'm your boss, mommy. I know, I'm your <laughs> boss. <laughs> the next one has made me confused since I was a child. Okay. And it's the word billion. Okay. First of all, in English you have million, and then the next one is billion. Yes. And then trillion. Mm -hmm. Make sense to you? Total. Well, not to me. In German we have million, then we have milliarde, then we have billion, and then we have billiarde. So there's one other word in between, and everything is messed up afterwards. And it's like, who made it that complicated? I have another one. Bekommen. Yeah. I love it. Bekommen. Bekommen in German means to get something. But in English, become means werden. So some Germans say, can I become a hamburger? <laughs> can I become a sausage? Can I become a white sausage? <laughs> <laughs> the next mistake is, Germans like to say, my friend is getting a baby. Oh yeah, that sounds weird. But it sounds like she Bought is a buying a baby. And how do you say it in English? Having a baby. She's having, she's having. having a baby. I would say I'm getting a baby. I'm, no, I'm not getting a baby, but she's. <laughs> no, she's also not because we're not there yet. But <laughs> oh my god, don't, don't give up our secrets. Oh. <laughs> and now let's get to the last point, And that's not really a mistake. It's the accent. <laughs> 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 the accent that German people have when they speak English. I love it. You love cute, it? Cute, 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 cute. <laughs> my teachers have such a strong accent. And oh my god, sometimes I don't even pay attention to what they're saying. I'm just like... Ah. <laughs> we used to go to this restaurant in Bayern and there used to be a lot of people that would celebrate their birthdays there. And it was so funny to hear Happy birthday to you. <laughs> it was so cute, dude. Yeah, I, I can also that. hear that in my family. The weather is really nice today. Really? They say really sometimes. This obviously doesn't go at all for all the Germans. Yannick, sadly, doesn't have a German accent. <laughs> Would you like me to make those? I love it, yeah. From now on, guys, I will always speak like this. <laughs> oh my god! You can get used to this. I love, I'm, my heart is jumping. Why don't you have an accent? Like you do, but you have a weird mixture now that I don't understand. I don't if know. I try to speak without an accent, it's like the most annoying thing ever because I'm so bad at like hiding my accent. It's actually not that bad. Really? Really? Oh my god, it's so annoying. I, 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 I already okay. want to punch my, myself in the face, dude. From now on, I will also speak with an American accent. 
like crazy. When Germans try to do the British accent, sometimes it works because you say better, so it's like the weather. The weather's nice today. Oh, you no, I not said with some. Me. I said some Germans. <laughs> <laughs> not with me. It doesn't work. If you can take something away from this video, is it's not bad to have an accent. People love it. Yes. Especially native speakers love it. She's not a na native speaker. <laughs> She's a Mexican. <laughs> She's not a native. <laughs> it's fine if you try to not speak with an accent. It's fine if you don't care about your accent at all and you just do whatever you want, you know? Just do the you, you know? Be yourself. I have a theory that people never like their own accents when they speak English. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments down below. What do you think about accents from your own country and the accents from other countries okay guys so that was it for this week we hope you like this video if you did give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you're not already i will see you next week adios muchachos cheers don't even want to stand up <laughs> lazy person <laughs> okay, okay, okay. adios muchachos cheers